Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded, the most consistent channel on YouTube for solving daily lead code problem and lead code contest solutions. And here I present with weekly contest 302, the question that I have chosen is max sum of a pair with equal sum of digits. And even before jumping on to this, let me just introduce myself. My name is Santi Dodeja. I'm working as technical architect SD4 at Adobe. And uh, in this problem, we are giving an array of integers. We need to identify two indices i and j such that the sum of digits of numbers of nums i and nums j are equal and we need to identify the maximum value of that particular pair. So what do we need to do? We need to identify two numbers first that have the same sum of digits and once we have identified those two numbers, their value should be maximum across all the possibilities. So here they have provided us with an example. I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation. So let's quickly hop onto it. Max sum of a pair with equal sum of digits, lead code 2342. It's a medium level question on lead code. However, I can rate this problem in easy category. And in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to drop a message on the Telegram group or the Discord server of Coding Decoded. Both the links are stated below. Now let's get started. I have taken a slightly different example to what was specified in the question so that you guys get a good hold of the concept. We have the numbers as 18, 43, 36, 13, 7, 27, 8, 0, 1. And in the first go, what do we need to identify? We need to identify those many numbers that have same sum of digits. So here sum represents sum of digits. So let's try and understand the algorithm by the naive approach first. So let's check what all digits what all numbers have the same sum of digits so the first one is 18 uh, the sum turns out to be 9 so corresponding to 9 the first element is 18 then we move ahead and next we have 43 43 has a sum 7 so corresponding to 7 sum the first number is 43 next we have 36 36 also sums up till 9 so let's write 36 over here next we have 13 13 sums up till 4 so let's write 4 over here and let's write 13 over here. Next we have 7. So let's write 7 over here because the sum is 7. Next we have 27. So let's write 27 over here because the sum of 27, uh, 2 and 7 is 9. Sum of digits is 9. Next we have 801 and let's write 801 over here. Now we know that uh, these are the numbers that sum up till 9, these are the numbers that sum up till 7 and 13 sums up till 4. Now once the grouping is done, what do we need to do? We need to iterate over each entry of this map. So the first entry is this one. We extract all these elements up and what we are going to do, we'll sort them up. So if we'll sort them, uh, what we will get, we'll get them in ascending order or descending order. Our goal is to identify the two elements that have the largest value. So out of these four elements, which two have the largest value? 801 and 36. So the corresponding answer with respect to 9 would be 837. Let's move on to the next entry. The next entry has 7 as the key and the value is 43,7. So there are only two elements. The maximum two elements corresponding to 7 as sum of digits turns out to be 43 and 7. So if I sum these up, what do I get? I get 50. So the second possibility of answer is 50. And with respect to the third possibility, where, where the third entry, here there is only one element. So actually this will never correspond to it. Out of all the possibilities, which one has the maximum value? 837 uh, has the maximum value. And what two elements we identified? We identified the two elements as 801 and 36. So this was expected as part of the answer. We can return those up appropriately. So this is a naive approach of solving this question. However, do we actually need to store all the elements together? No, we don't need to store all the elements together. We just need to store the maximum element that we have seen so far. Why I'm saying this and how it's going to work? Let's shoot by taking the same example. So the first element that we see is 18 and the total sum of digits turns out to be 9. With respect to 9, so far there is no entry in the map. So uh, since there is no entry, that means the answer really doesn't exist. As a result of which, we'll simply add a new entry in the map and the key would be 9 and uh, the maximum element seen 
with nine sum so far turns out to be 18. Let's proceed ahead. Next is 43. 43 sums up till 7. Corresponding to 7, no entry exists. As a result of which, we'll simply add 7 in the map and store 43 as the value. The maximum sum uh, with respect to 7, the element corresponding to it is 43, seen so far. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 36. 36 again sums up till 9. And what do we do? We pull out if there is, there is an entry corresponding to 9 as key. Yes, there is an entry. Which entry is it? it it's 18. And let's sum these two together up. So 18 plus uh, 36 gives us 54. So one possibility of answer is 18 comma 36. And uh, the total sum turns out to be 54. And again, we'll do one more thing over here. We will select the one that has maximum value. Which one has the maximum value of 18 and 36? 36 has the maximum value. So let's replace 18 with 36. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 18, 13. 13 has a total sum 4. So let's create a new entry with 4 comma 13. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 7. Corresponding to 7, do we have an entry in the map? Yes, we have an entry in the map. So we'll extract it up. 43 is the maximum element seen so far. That sums up till 7. So 7 plus 40, uh, 43 gives us 50. So the second possibility of answer is 50. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 27. 27 sums up till 9. And we check the corresponding entry in the map. Does there exist? Yes, there exists. The value corresponding to 9 is 36. So 36 plus 27, what does it give you? It gives you um, 63. So the next possibility of answer is 27 plus 36. And again, what we will be doing, we'll be selecting the maximum one out of these two. So which one is the maximum one? 36 is the maximum one. As a result of which, this entry remains intact. And the third possibility of answer is 63. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 801. 801 sums up till 9. And we again check if there is an entry corresponding to 9 in the bar. There exists an entry which is 36. 36 plus 803 is 837. So this is the fourth possibility of answer. And with this, we have done the iteration across the entire array. The maximum value that was identified was 833. Those two elements are 801 and 36. And this is what we need to return. So uh, while iterating over this entire array, you keep track of the maximum sum that is generated. And the maximum sum that is generated is 837. So in this way, we kept track of the maximum element seen so far in the array that sums up till sum of uh, digits which is acting as the key in the map and you don't need to actually store all the elements that sums up till that key value the time complexity of this approach is order of n and the space complexity of this approach is again order of n because we are creating the map and let's quickly walk through the coding section to conclude it up so i'll be walking you through the second approach where i have been creating a map wherein the key is acting as the total sum of digits and the uh, value is acting as the maximum see element seen so far with this given sum of digits and I have created a hash map for it. I have created an answer variable initialized to minus one. I iterate over my nums array and with each iteration, I first of all calculate the sum of digits corresponding to nums. So uh, this is a helper method that I have created to get the sum of digits uh, when for the number that is being passed over here. You can use uh, mathematics for calculating it or you can use string manipulation as well. So both of them works equally well. Once you are done with it, you get the total sum and you check whether this total sum exists in your map or not. If it doesn't exist, you put it in the map. Otherwise, if it already exists, what do you do? You extract the corresponding value from the map and add it to nums and you compare it with your answer variable sum of these two elements and your answer you, s you select the answer as the one that has the maximum value and again you update your map with uh, the one that has the maximum value out of the value that exists in the map and your current element and the key for it remains the sum which is total sum so pretty simple and straightforward and exactly the same as i talked in the presentation so let's try this out accepted the time complexity of this approach is order of n as i have already told and space complexity is again order of n 
with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it and if you are looking out for more solutions of the weekly contest 302 all of them are stated below thank you